Sleep is a great ni'ma and gift of Allah. And Allah says, Do you know we take your soul when you are asleep? We take your soul. If death is written for you in your sleep, we keep that soul. So you die. And if death is not written, as soon as someone wakes you up, we send that, or as soon as you wake up, we send the soul back and you out again. This is the explanation in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this in verse number 42 of Surah Zumar. If you read it, you'll get a shock. It means sleep is a small death, a certain type of extraction of the soul. How? Allah knows best. He didn't give us details, but medicine cannot explain it. That's one thing I can guarantee. It cannot explain it fully. It might come up with a little bit here and there, but never fully. They won't tell you how you dream and what happens and so on. Perhaps just ideas and suggestions, but guaranteed answer? No. Subhanallah. This is Allah's gift. Allah says they won't know. Amazing. So Allah says in that verse number 42, it is Allah who takes the souls away at the time of the death. Allah takes them away. And he takes the souls away of those who have not died whilst they are asleep. So he keeps the souls of those whom death has been written in their sleep. And the others, he sends them back for a fixed portion of time. This is a power of Allah. This is why before you sleep, and this is the point I want to raise. We want peace in the Akhirah, don't we? Sort your matter out between you and Allah before you rest at night. Before you close your eyes, ask Allah's forgiveness. Say, Ya Allah, in amsakta nafsi faghfir laha. This was the dua of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. If you take my soul away, forgive it. Before he slept, he said this dua. In amsakta nafsi faghfir laha. If you have taken my soul away in my sleep, then forgive it. Wa in arsaltaha fahfadha bihifdika alladhi tahfadu bihi ibadaka salihin. And if you are going to send my soul back, then protect it with the same protection that you protect your righteous slaves by. What a powerful dua. So we should be making this dua before we sleep. That, oh Allah, I'm going to sleep. If you take my soul away, forgive it. Ya Allah, I, am, I have no option but to have hope in your mercy. Ya ilaha al-alamin. Look at us here. We are sitting with so much love solely for the sake of Allah. Ya Allah, grant us from your mercy. So my brothers and sisters, never ever become oblivious of the fact that before you sleep, quickly make peace with Allah. Ask forgiveness, even if it is one sentence, but make that peace with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You never know, it might be the last time that you are going to close your eyes.